Today we're talking about tips for talking to your kids about faith. One of the things that we want to remember is to be honest about our shortcomings. It's important to set an environment for our kiddos that if we do make a mistake, it's a safe place to admit when we miss the mark or when we do that, especially while our children are watching. For example, we may say the wrong thing, we may do the wrong thing, and it's an opportunity to teach our children to repent. We can lead ourselves into repentance, we can lead our children into repentance as the time arises. And what a great opportunity to learn this directly from our parents that it's okay not to be perfect. We're perfected in Jesus Christ, but we ourselves are making mistakes. We want to encourage our children to tell us when they make a mistake or when they need help with something. So creating this safe environment for our children is setting them up for success. The second thing we want to talk about is sharing what we believe with our children. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe he was raised again on the third day? A lot of what our children will remember will be more than just what they learned in Sunday school. How we live our life before them is a great witness. We can do our best to be a godly example in their lives and show them the way. The next thing we want to talk about is encouraging our children to actively believe for something and pray for it. There are many different things that your children may desire or need. They can ask for those things in prayer. You can teach your child when they have a need to go to their Heavenly Father and ask for it. Maybe they need help studying for a big test. Maybe they have a friend that's not feeling well. They can take these concerns or petitions to God in prayer with thanksgiving and ask God to help them. The next thing that we can do is testify about God's goodness. God has done many amazing things in your life. You can share these testimonies with your children and encourage them about how God has come through for you. Perhaps you were in need of healing and God healed you. Perhaps you were believing for a breakthrough on your job and you experienced a great promotion. These are exciting and amazing testimonies for your children and can help them grow in their faith. Romans 10, 17 tells us, So faith comes from hearing, that is hearing the good news about Christ in the New Living Translation. Encourage your children to actively believe and read their word. We believe by hearing the word about Christ. Lastly, encourage your children to ask questions and create a space for this. You can do it during the night or even when they get up in the morning or throughout their day when they have questions about the faith. It's good to research the questions. You can also ask other spiritual leaders as well if you don't know the answer. But it's important to answer the questions that you know and let your children know when you don't know the answer. But seek out to understand so you can be equipped and answer the questions your children have. Encourage them also to study the Word of God and seek out those answers. So spend time in the Word, study it daily, and meditate on it day and night. You're going to show yourself approved and your children are going to have great success in life being equipped with the Word of God.